Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here at Totally Magic and what is possibly the fastest card trick in the world. We have four cards, in this case the four aces, a spade, a club, a heart and a diamond. I want you to name any suit you like, it's a free choice. Either the one in position one, two, three or four, which one would you like? The club, are you sure you want the ace of clubs? That's in position two. Watch, you're going to be blown away by this. Just four cards. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. The card in the second position just happens to be your card with the odd coloured back. Out of all the aces, this is the one that you chose, and that is the fastest card trick ever. Hope you enjoyed that. Possibly not the fastest trick in the world, but certainly is a quick one. Now, just like the performance, the tutorial is also very quick because it just needs one move, the Jordan. If I mention that to you, some of you may be familiar with that sleight of hand movement. Others that are new to magic may have heard of it, but not sure what it means. Now, although I will give you a quick summary of what the Jordan move is on this video, if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to learn that slide, I will put a link to the video we've done in the past about the Jordan count, and that link will be just below this one. So, what do you need to perform this trick? Well, you need four cards, four same value cards. It doesn't matter whether they're kings, queens, jacks, tens or as in my case the aces the only thing you've got to have are two of them must have blue backs two of them will have red backs that's all you need so let's talk about the jordan count because it is the only move you require so we'll come back to those in a moment i've got some cards here to demonstrate what the jordan count does it allows you to hide one card and you do that by switching the packet. Let me show you very briefly. This is just a summary for those that have not seen the Jordan count before. Now, if I reverse the bottom card, so the card I want to hide is this one at the bottom. We've got three cards on top. As you count these, one, two, three, four, you'll notice that the one we want to hide has been hidden, the face-up card. There it is there. Let me show you that again, talking you through the move very briefly. So the card begins at the bottom that you want to hide. In this occasion, you hold the cards by the right edge in your right hand, unless of course you're left-handed, then it'd be the other way around. And all you do is with your thumb on top and your two fingers just gripping the bottom like that, okay? Now, this hand comes over and it's gonna push its fingers against the packet as you pull off just the top card like that. I'll do it side on so this camera here can see. Okay, so you pull that one off. As you come back to take the next card, this one goes under, and this thumb is just gonna slide off the next card like that. So we've now got the two cards here. Now this is what's gonna happen as these two come over here. Let me show you what goes on underneath. These two cards are wedged under my fingers that means my two fingers grip the face of this bottom card. My thumb, at the same time, just pushes everything, pushes everything across. The card that the thumb only pushes the top three cards, as you count three and four. So this one got counted twice. Okay, so let me just show you that. Again, as I said, we do have a full tutorial for the Jordan count. I'll put it a link below if you're interested in learning it. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Okay, and you've hidden 
this card here. It's a nice little move, very similar to the Elmsley count. And if you don't know any slights, it's worth picking up a book or watching some tutorial videos on some of the basic slights that are used in card magic. The double lift, the Jordan, the Elmsley, the Biddle, the Hammond, the Flustration. Those five or six moves are the most common moves you'll come across in card magic. And just like riding a bike, once you've learned them, you never forget them. So there it is there. Very simple. It'll take you half an hour to master that to a degree of being confident in performing using the Jordan count. So let's put these away and show you how the trick worked. But it does involve the Jordan. Let me show you. First of all, we alternate the cards so that we've got red, blue, red, blue, okay? You show the cards like this. Now, the spectator can name any card they like. It doesn't matter which one they name. So say, for example, they say the diamond. The only thing you need to do is to get the, the card they choose in the second position like that so it's now in the second position now don't make a big deal of this if they call out for example clubs then i would just do this and say so you've chosen one two three four the second one i do like to mention the number you don't have to but i think it kind of enhances the effect so just make sure that the card they choose is in the second position from the bottom that's all you've got to do. Then, when you close the pack up, you flip them over. Now, because I see a red here, that means I'm going to show the cards to be apparently three red and one blue. We get the Jordan grip. I slide off the top one as I count one. Now, there's a slight subtlety here that I think works quite well. Instead of pulling this second card, on top like that. I like to actually stagger it forward a little bit like that. Then I do the Jordan move as I count three and four. It looks as though one card is blue and it is that second one I pushed across. As I pull this out, you reveal their card. So let me just go through that one more time. Of course, you can replay the video and watch what happens. So once again, they choose a card. Oh, I'm interested in the heart. You want the ace of hearts. Out of all of these, you want that one there, the ace of love. You then show the cards and you can say, so you want the second ace along. Let's take a look. There's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. They've seen the three blue. You pull out the second card, and it is their card. It's the only card with the different colored back, but of course we know different. And that's it, it's quick, simple, direct. I think you're gonna enjoy that one. Till next time, practice and enjoy.